Hey guys, what's going on? It's me, Will Patterson again with another video and today we've got a bit of an interesting one coming at you and before you say it, this is not clickbait. This is actually true and it will help you with your logo designs and it's just ultimately really interesting. So you might be asking, Will, what is actually wrong with the Starbucks logo? I think it's just perfect. There's nothing wrong with it at all that could blow my mind. Well, you're wrong, but I do believe that these wrongs do make a right in the design and I'm going to explain to you why. Okay, so here in front of me, I've got my screen. I am on my laptop because my computer is not working. And basically we have the Starbucks logo right here. This Starbucks logo is the first one. Well, not the first one, but the one that a lot of you will recognize before 2011. If you're an old school Starbucks fan, then you will notice this one here. Now this is a siren, which is the main logo. And this is where the new ones derive from. It's basically a mermaid with two tails and you can see breasts, which is okay. This is actually a great example of showing you some like vintage illustration and bring it into the modern scope of the vintage postmodern world. But basically as the company were growing and as they were expanding into more franchises and became ever more popular, they needed to rethink their brand strategy. So the way they did this was by hiring someone like a designer or an agency like they did to make their vision of the company something that could consumers would understand, recognize, and love. So what they did was they took this logo, and I'm really paraphrasing here, and they took this logo here and made it into what you now know as the Siren logo. This is one of the most famous logos on the planet because it's so good. It is actually the mermaid or the two-tailed mermaid or siren with a crown on its head. Beforehand, they had breasts on the actual siren, which is hilarious. And in logo design fashion, they made it so their hair was slightly draping over them just to cover them up. So you could see that it was a mermaid and it gave that majestic feel. Now, something that you may not notice is that you may think this logo is symmetrical. Now, beauty with men and women is all down to what we believe is symmetry. If your face is symmetrical, then you think that you are beautiful or you could be seen as attractive because the human eye looks at symmetry and prefers it. So basically, as the designers were going from this logo all the way to this one, they knew that they needed to make it a bit more modelly so it couldn't be as like, you know, it couldn't have this big belly there, couldn't look so vintage and it needs to look a lot more modern and refined. So they made it into more of a model and they did this by just, you know, changing the shapes, making the overall thing a lot curvier, encompassing it into a circle to make it fit on the branding so you could like stamp it on things. This is the one that we know now. This was one that we used before, which is a Starbucks logo. And this logo here, they just basically took the word marks of it and gave the siren the full look. So this is the logo that Starbucks uses. Now, if you looked at this, you would think as a logo designer, this is perfectly symmetrical. This illustration looks beautiful. And the way that it looks beautiful is that when you slice it in half, it's going to be symmetrical and it's so easy. All we have to do is design one side of it and then the other side could be sort of shoved in there too and it would make the logo. Well, that is actually where you're wrong because this logo is not fully symmetrical. So basically the designers were looking through all these different types of logos and I'll try and put some links down below to blog posts that I've seen that talk a bit more about this. So the designer was looking at all these different ideas that they put out and they said they loved the concept, it looked amazing, but it kind of looked a bit creepy and they didn't know why it looked creepy. They were sort of like, what is going on with this design to make it creepy? It's just a hot babe, siren, hot mermaid, whatever. Why is it looking so creepy? Well, they did some digging and they also did some more designing and more basic tweaking to the logo and they actually added a couple more pixels to where you wouldn't have seen before. So if I take this logo right here and I go ahead and bring it further down like this, I'm just gonna make a copy of it. And this looks perfectly symmetrical, okay? So what I'm going to do is actually bring uh, a guide in or basically a stroke and we're going to go ahead and align this. Okay, so basically if I go ahead and make a cut inside of this, so the way that I'm doing this is literally just by using the shapes here. And we're going to use the Pathfinder tool to get rid of all of this. Now, obviously I've talked about it, but the human symmetry scale or the way that we are symmetrical matters a lot to our appearance. Now, the designers thought this too. So what they did 
was they probably designed half of the logo and they literally probably I'm not even I don't even know them so I'm guessing they went like this and they went ahead and made the logo look really symmetrical and that works right and you think yeah there's a logo but hang on look between this logo and this logo here and tell me if you see anything different at all this logo kind of looks a bit creepy, doesn't it? It kind of looks, let's say, like a mask or something that doesn't look real. It kind of looks like something that's known as Commedia dell'arte, which is a mask used in dramatic theater. Over here, for some reason, it looks a lot more human and a lot more natural. You may be rattling your brain or you may have seen it already, but there is a huge difference between this logo and this one that you would never have seen before unless you had the eye for it. And that is these little pixels here. Now this first logo does work, but the problem is it looks kind of a bit creepy because it is perfect on each side of the face. So what they did, the designers thought to do, was to increase the shadow on top of the nose on this side to make it more human. Now, I talk about this all the time, having a bit of imperfection in a logo is perfection. This is kind of like an allusion to perfection because otherwise, this would not look human. This would look like a mask and people would probably be a bit freaked out by it. In fact, it kind of looks a lot happier on this side over here. I don't know why, but that's what it seems to me, a lot happier in what it is. Over here kind of looks a bit robotic and not natural. So having this extra sort of shadow line here in the negative space is really what's keeping the logo to look human and natural. So you guys thought I was clickbaiting you, didn't you? Well, here's something that you can learn. Sometimes the perfect logo isn't actually perfect. It's just the illusion. Guys, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please press that like button. Also remember to subscribe. YouTube have already said everywhere that if you don't press that notification bell down below, you'll probably never see a video because we're always subscribing to different channels all the time. So make sure that you're pressing that notification bell so you don't ever miss an update on this channel. I just want to give a huge shout out to FreshBooks for sponsoring this video. FreshBooks is an online invoicing platform that I use. Now, if you're a designer and you're doing it freelance or you own your own creative business, whether you're a photographer or whatever, you want FreshBooks because you can invoice and get paid faster. You can gather up expenses, make profit and loss reports, which is amazing. You can even see when a client has viewed your invoice. So when they tell you they haven't seen it and that's why they haven't paid you, then you can tell them that you have seen it on this time and date. It makes the whole invoicing life a lot easier for you guys. So if you would like 30 days of fresh books for completely free, risk-free, just to try it out and see what you think, then click that link down below in the description and let them know how you found out about them, which was through me, Will Patterson, telling you on YouTube. But guys, thank you so much for watching this video. Please let me know down below your thoughts on this and I'll catch you in the next one. See you soon.